What I've got here is a uh, piece of baking paper, which I've you know, got the pattern for the cassette store on the door. That'll be a tropical storm. Bring it on, Huey. Go hard. Jump that <laughs> I just love a good thunderstorm. It's all gone now. The sun's come out. So we're going to see what else we can do. Get this door thing going on, you know? Let's get it happening. Next thing you know, it's dark. It's been dark. It's raining. It's been raining. It's time to eat. Hey, time. It's time to do something now. Again. So this is the door for the cassette toilet and I'll put some foam in there just to give it a bit of buffer and solidness and now I'm going to cut out a little bit of laminate and put it over the top of it and um, that'll just seal the deal. It'll look cool gravy. Alright so I've cut that out all pretty. That's the little frame. It goes in uh, yeah, not that way. It's fool's proof, you say. Yes, in that way. Look how good that looks. Hmm? You'd almost lick it. <laughs> all right, and then it goes into there. So that's how it all happens. I know I'm a little bit off track because the bus is right down out there at the back. But I just wanted to uh, show you a bit of my working environment. And this is what uh, this little stick here. It looks like a tree growing in the ground. It's not. It's what I call a bush spear. And there's a big tree above uh, me over here. And on these big windy days, it throws these branches, right? Now, I haven't touched this. <laughs> I'll just see. All right. You can see how it's gone into the ground there, about a foot, 12 inches. Many centimetres. <laughs> and um, it's probably about 25 foot long, pointing over there towards the bus. Hiya! They come down out of the sky, into the ground, bush spear. Funnily enough, interesting enough, or scary enough, the tree itself is called the Widowmaker. It's time to get out of here and go back into the bus. Well, what we're putting in is a little bit of floorboard here. We've got to seal this area here. This is the exit for the cassette toilet. So we've got to just pop him in. Like it's made to fit. Camera's in the way. Whatever. So that's the bottom piece board there like that. And then we've got this other gear, which just so happens to be the nice little tiley stuff which we used on the inside of the shower. And I'll cut that to fit, like that. And I'll glue him like that. You know, like it goes over that hole there, of course, you know, like that. Anyway. And then, um, ka -ching! You can close the door. Wow, it's all tidy. Open sesame! Well, I finished the cassette toilet door. It all looks really new and bathroom-ish. You know, because it's part of the bathroom, the toilet, and the cassette part which is the slide out um, dunger box and uh, it's all part and parcel so let's have a bit of a look eh? and there's the, so the nice shiny door we made here we've got the nice lemon x tiley stuff it's all siliconed up it all looks real pretty there's the toilet at the back they're ready just to slide into place and um, anyway I guess Bob's your uncle yeah my uncle I ain't got an uncle Bob this job's easy you know if you know what you're doing so as soon as I know what I'm doing I'll let you know. And then, if you forget to put the wire in the second light to the wrong position and hook it up to the pump so that every time that the you know, the pump's on, the light's on, which is no good because then the light's on all the time, then if that's the case, then you get to smash it up, take it all out. Well, 
think I might be on our way to fix this, you know? Grinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should film this bit. I bought this little uh, little gizmo, it's a soldering iron. But it's got little parts you put on it, so this is a little scalpel bit, right? Dead if I touched it. And then see, I've got other features as well. I'm going to use a little scalpel to cut through this little section of plastic, you know. <laughs> so, here we go, I'll have a go at it. It's called an, an action flame. <coughs> Just down this leaf. Ow! Ow! <coughs> so, you see, you can cut leaves in a single stroke. So, we go on the plastic now. Kind of looking like that the problem I thought I had I don't have at all in the end and the wires aren't hooked up like I thought they were and maybe I did it wrong with the other end and didn't need to smash things up. No, I'm not alright. I didn't need to pull apart all the whole thing, you know. Can't swear on camera anyway, that's the point. No point in getting angry. Now these little bits of timber that I'm putting on the sick of flax. Uh, they actually go on the lip of the shower, so they just give it a bit of support. So they're just pieces of pine, they're glued and screwed down to the floor, and they just give a bit of support. So if somebody steps on the edge of the shower, uh, that'll support it. We don't want any doink, 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 doink thing happening with the shower floor and the timber, you know? And then you get that tinny. Want to sit on there, gonna put a heap of heavy rocks on there, get on with the job. Alrighty, we're about to put the shower base in now. All the sicker flex is in, it's sealed, I've ant proofed it and waterproofed it. And now it's just going to plop it in and this is the big moment. There it goes, it's falling down in. Boinky boinky. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Sitting in there. So there we have it, the base is in the shower. And now we're just going to put on a nice glass door at the front here. Give me a bit of a push down here gently. I just want to get it down all nice, you know. I want it to be firm and snug and no, no squeaky squeakies or anything. Keys or anything. So we're putting in the uh, shower screen at the moment and the little bit of wall, uh, anyway have a bit of a look it's all looking pretty cool and funky uh, by chance the height of this coaster bus is about 181 centimetres and I went down to Bunnings and got a shower screen which was 182 centimetres so we're taking a little nick out of the roof which I'll show you at the top here at the top there like that, just that tiny bit there and by doing that they were able to fit in the entire screen which is um, you know, uh, all good and so it opens up like that you can go into your shower I'm going to cover the glass in a frosted matte crystal type of uh, product I've got the frame here this is going to be covered in the the goobity gubbity and that's all folks yibbity yabbity This is the uh, digital face of the uh, water tank measure uh, level. I can feel the tension. Here's all the little water sensors in the tank. <laughs> 